All right, guys, so day three of free agency is underway, and it's been a slow start. Not a lot has happened in general, and practically nothing had happened relevant to the Seahawks until about half an hour ago when we got word that Jacob Hollister had signed a one-year deal to become a Buffalo Bill, reuniting with his quarterback from college at Wyoming. I think most people assumed that this was going to happen, that a Hollister reunion had been basically, you know, the door had been shut after we signed Everett. But while I suspected that as well, it was in the back of my head that, you know, we did sign Greg Olson last year to a very similar contract to the one that Everett got, and we kept Hollister anyway. And we kept Hollister for a lot more than the veteran minimum, over three million bucks, actually, so... I was kind of thinking to myself, just because we have a legitimate tight end room now doesn't mean we're not going to bring back somebody who had produced for us over the last two years. So I did have it in the back of my head that Hollister was not an impossibility, but well, now he is. He's uh, moving on. And look, I have been as hard on Jacob Hollister as I have on any Seahawks player over the last two years. And... Looking back at it, obviously he was not a terrible player, and I think it's fair to say I was probably overly harsh on him at times, just because he was kind of the definition of a player who is okay at a few things, but he's not really good at anything. He is, his hands were okay, his route running was okay, his speed was okay, his blocking was, well, not even okay, but... There was just nothing remarkable about him, and what a way to end your time in Seattle catching zero passes on five targets in a home playoff game, you know? It's just, I don't know if that stuff was Hollister's fault. You know, there it, it can be on Wilson, it can be on Schottenheimer, it can be on Carroll, it can be on a lot of different things, I understand that, but there was just something so frustrating about his game here, but... We cannot say that the two years we had with Hollister were all bad. He made several big plays to help us win games over the last couple years. He filled in admirably when we had a lot of injury issues at the tight end position. Ed Dixon, Greg Olson, Will Disley, all these guys have spent a lot of time on the bench while he's been here. And he's made plays to help us win games. And he's produced at a high enough level to where he, he, he earned his roster spot. Am I happy he's gone? Kind of, but he, he it's kind of tough to really land on a final conclusion on how to feel about the Hollister experience because it was very frustrating. But if you look back at it in hindsight, was it really that bad? All right, so I'm happy we don't have to worry about bringing him back regardless because he just would have crowded the tight end room. But, uh, other than that, nothing's really happening right now that has any relation to the Seahawks whatsoever. We're all still waiting on Dunlap. Uh, Blythe is still out there. Carson still has not signed. But yeah, it, it's just a little quiet right now. So I'll post another video later today and maybe stream tonight. But uh, yep, that's all we got. Hollister, gone. Happy trails.